the Paralympics gets underway later this month. So how are GB athletes getting ready for it? Well, our reporter Chris Nightingale is in Brighton with table tennis player Will Bailey as he gets ready to leave for Paris. Yeah, so much excitement around sport at the moment, isn't there? With Team GB doing so well at the Olympics, it's time for the Paralympics to get underway in just a few weeks' time. And one man that knows what it takes to win gold on the highest world stage is right beside me, table tennis royalty, Will Bailey. Will, great to speak to you this morning. Your fifth Paralympics. How's your form going into this one? I can't wait, you know. Uh, it's my fifth Games, um, Beijing 2008. Seems a long time ago, but... I think I'm in the best form of my life, you know, if, if I've ever got a chance to win, uh, it's, it's now. I feel ready and, you know, giving it everything. Let's go, I can't wait. You talk about your form there, you've just got back from Slovenia, a training camp. What kind of thing goes into play there? Um, yeah, a, a lot of training. Like, I was training uh, many, many hours a day and um, with different countries as well. So it was like um, many, many different countries on this training camp and uh, top nations that are looking to win medals. and. Yeah, just pushing each other on and yeah, I feel ready. I feel so ready. Can't wait. It's just watching the Olympics is inspiring as well. Uh, I feel inspired watching that and just want to get out there and do the business. You know what it takes to medal at a Paralympics. So what kind of thing are you thinking about just a few weeks away from this one getting underway? I think actually just staying calm and trying to rest as much as possible. Uh, trying not to get too stressed out thinking about it. Just trying to enjoy the process and and uh, yeah, I just I, I do feel much more calm than I've ever felt before. You know, I'm getting older, and I think you know that has its disadvantages, but it definitely has its advantages as well. I feel a lot more composed this time, and that's really important in elite sport that you don't get too overexcited or overhyped. Just trying to keep it calm and cool and collected, and yeah, I'm sure I'll be ready when it comes to the, the 29th, my first match. You say you're going to be ready. I noticed this table behind you. Just tell us about this because it's got yeah. Paris on. It's the one you're going to be using at the Paralympics. So just yeah. tell us how it varies to the one you usually play on. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing table. It's, um, it's black, so we don't normally play with a black table. Um, and it's also like, it's a bit extra spinny, you know, so the ball grips. So, you know, when, you put, when, you, when you're serving, putting a lot of backspin on the ball, it'll really kick backwards. And um, yeah, it's quite, it's, it's quite a spinny surface, so that's why we've got them in to train with, because it um, plays a bit differently to your average table, so just trying to get used to it at the moment. And I noticed you've been with your sparring partner this morning, Igor. Yeah. He's still got it as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I'm so lucky. I mean, Igor's come over from Ukraine, and he's an absolute workhorse. You know, he works me so hard, and he, he's, got a lot, you know, he's got an amazing style of play, which is good for my, for my game. You know, it's difficult for me to play against, so... Yeah, we push each other on every day and yeah, he's been, been invaluable really to have in Brighton. And you're not the only member from this Brighton table tennis club that's going to be at the Paralympics. Bly Toomey's also here. She's only 14 years old and I know you train with her. Just tell us a little bit about her. Oh, she's, she's amazing. I mean, the first time I saw her, I, I was coming back from Tokyo and I had my medals and I, was, I came into the club and I saw Bly and uh, she asked me for a knock and I was like, yeah, I'll give you a knock. And then... She hit the ball past me and I was like, this, girl's gonna, this girl can be good. And then ever since, sort of, I've been coaching her and the other coaches here have been pushing her on. And, um, yeah, she's, she's got a real chance, you know. She's playing amazingly well and I just want her to go in there, 14 years old, you know, just to embrace it and enjoy it and, and uh, yeah, do well. Well, we wish you the very best of luck and hopefully in a few weeks' time we'll be celebrating another gold from Will. And who knows, he might be dancing on the table again when he won gold in Rio 2016.